Baseball, we're heading toward the World Series. Will a rain delay be the stroke of good luck the Yankees need to stay alive in their bid for the World Series? And plus, A-Rod off the field for today, but reports have him, well, playing the field from the stands. So much to talk about, so little time. Jared Diamond, let's get going with this. Start with the big picture. Did the Yankees just need a, a break yesterday to maybe get themselves back in the game? It's do or die today, 4 p.m., uh, Detroit. Actually, this actually probably hurt the Yankees mm. even more. Uh, the Yankees are obviously hoping to get to a seventh game, and if they can, they would have been able to bring back CC Sabathia, who is their best pitcher and their best chance to win. Who was scheduled to pitch last night. He was supposed to pitch last night. Yep. Now he's pitching today. If they get to a game seven, he'll only be on two days rest, so he won't be able to pitch a game seven anymore. Interesting. Huge disadvantage for the Yankees. They probably won't even get there, but if they were going to get to a seventh game, win three in a row to get there, this really hurt them. This really hurt their chances. So the rain doesn't help them. They, of course, they don't have Jeter anymore. He, Derek Jeter, he broke his ankle. They're shortstop. A-Rod, let's just move over to A-Rod. Their <laughs> slugger, he's not hitting anything, though he may be hitting on some women we hear. <laughs> all right, you, let, let, let's talk about that. First of all, let's talk about, you know, there's talk now that he may be traded be, from the Yankees. That's going to be a tough thing to do, though, given sure. his contract. He hasn't been much of a slugger <laughs> of late. He's been just awful. He, he's really been... The focal point of this whole postseason, I mean, they don't call him the lightning rod for nothing. He's always in the center, no matter what's going on. Unfortunately, it has not been for very good reasons of late. The Yankees have him signed to a massive contract. They owe him $114 million over the next five years. And they've now benched him right. throughout the postseason. I mean, his relationship with the manager is obviously strained. Obviously, there's some real tension there. So bringing him back next year is going to be tricky. But on the other hand, no one really is going to take that contract. They'd have to eat some of that salary, The Yankees obviously. would have to pay almost all of it. And you wonder if it's getting to the point where they're willing to say, you know what, we will take nothing back in return. We'll pay 90% of the salary. We just can't have him on our team anymore. Too, there's been too much tension between us. Let's talk about these reports that during, I think it was <laughs> game one of the American League Championship Series, G, uh, he he was I'm sorry A Rod was in the the dugout and he was sending uh, was it a ball boy out with with a ball <laughs> to some attractive I guess Australian models I don't know who in the in the stands yeah. trying to get their phone numbers <laughs> explain is there truth to this okay well I mean we don't know if it's true although I will say that this is something that probably happens at some ballpark all around the country every single day <laughs> That's a good um, point. we just don't always know about it right. but because for one it's Alex so he's guaranteed to generate giant controversy and two just because of the the game it was a big game all eyes were already on him because he was benched because he has been such a story so of course it gets it gets out there it gets blown up you know who knows who's to say that Derek Jeter hasn't done that in the right. past. I mean, I don't know. Right. No one knows. But I do know that this is probably something that happens more than fans realize. Look, it could be bad PR for them, though. Although it's kind of clever to send a baseball out and ask for the phone number. Sure. I mean, it's, uh, you know, he's got, and it sounds like he has a good eye. He may not have a good eye for the ball right now, but he's got a good <laughs> eye for women, Australian bikini model. Well, because really. it's Alex, it's going to be controversy. Yeah. It's going to be out there. And bad PR for them to have to deal with. Sure, and bad PR for him. He's no stranger to it. It seems like he's been on the front page of tabloids ever since he got here. Very quickly, if you had one thing that you could do. You had a one-point plan, Jared Diamond, to fix the Yankees. What would it be? Just get younger. They have the oldest team in baseball. They have so many bad contracts. Try to start shedding them and just build their farm system because they can't keep getting older like this. All right, game four today, 4 p.m. in Detroit. Do or die for the Yankees. Jared Diamond, thanks so much for being with us. He's one of our sports guys. Appreciate it.